Quitting can be hard. It can make you grumpy, sad and restless. You start becoming aware of feelings that might be uncomfortable or unsettling. But that's a normal part of quitting and withdrawal. Understanding what's happening inside your body can make the journey easier. When you smoke, nicotine travels to your lungs, then through the blood and rushes to your brain like an Olympic sprinter. Nicotine can influence a pathway in the brain called the reward pathway. Nicotine attaches to nicotine receptors on the surface of brain cells here called neurons. Nicotine targets neurons in the reward center, stimulating the reward pathway. Stimulation of the reward pathway releases dopamine, a chemical that makes you feel warm and fuzzy and satisfied. So you want to do it again. The longer you smoke, the more nicotine receptors are created in the brain. And each one is craving its nicotine fix. The more receptors in the brain, the more nicotine is needed to fill the receptors to make the feel-good chemical. Smokers believe that a cigarette makes them feel good, but the cigarette is really just taking away the bad feelings created by low dopamine levels and lots of empty nicotine receptors craving nicotine. About two hours after a cigarette, the nicotine disappears and now the empty receptors start craving nicotine because of the low dopamine levels. Without nicotine in their brain, smokers get withdrawal symptoms and crave another cigarette to fill the empty nicotine receptors in order to release more dopamine. When you quit, these receptors get really cranky. Less nicotine means there's less dopamine to help you feel good. Together, these can give you cravings for a cigarette and withdrawal symptoms like being tired, irritated, anxious, hungry, having trouble sleeping and being unable to concentrate. But these symptoms won't last forever and it might help to recognise that these are just signs that your brain and your body are fighting a nicotine addiction. Cravings usually only last a few minutes but they can vary in strength depending on the habits and triggers you associate with having a cigarette, like having a coffee or seeing someone else smoke. Many people can resist most cravings by just ignoring them. The symptoms of nicotine withdrawal are usually strongest two to three days after your last cigarette. For most people, these symptoms gradually fade away over the next two to four weeks. Without nicotine, many, but not all, of these receptors will simply go to sleep. But they're not all gone. That's why it's important to try to avoid listening to cravings such as, just one cigarette won't hurt. It just takes one puff to reawaken those receptors and begin the cycle of addiction again. Really strong cravings can be managed with the help of nicotine replacement therapy products. NRT binds to nicotine receptors in just the right amounts to release dopamine to help with the cravings.